When Canva made all of these updates, some of your favorite features may have been renamed or worse, disappeared. Today, we're going to answer the question, where is Shadow? We're going to go over two different ways that you can get your favorite feature back into your account. By the way, if you're watching this way in the future, they may have solved this issue. If you're still having trouble finding it, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can link you to an updated Canva tutorial. Let's look at a design. It's just an image of a person. And this is typically why someone wants a shadow effect is they are creating something for a thumbnail and they want an outline around a person. What you're going to do is click the image, click edit photo. And the first thing we need to do is remove the background. If you already have your background removed, that's fantastic. When I click back into it down here at the bottom, this is where shadows should be, but it's not there. What can you do? And the first way is something that you can do within this new video editor. So we're going to click this and I'm going to click the duplicate button and then I'm going to move her over to the right and then I'm going to click the one in the back. I'm going to click edit photo again and then what I'm going to do is click duotone. Up here at the top, they've given one, us one called custom where we can click that and the highlights and shadows will be right there and we can change the highlights and the shadows to be whatever color we would like. So in this case, I'm going to use white and then I'm going to click out of it. You can put your image right in front and it will give a shadow effect. If you want it to be more like an actual shadow, then what you can do is click that silhouette image and reduce the transparency and that will give you more of a shadowy effect. Let me show you another way. So we're going to click this, click edit photo and down here at the bottom, it says you're using the new photo editor to use the old experience. Click here. We're going to do that. And it gives you a pop up saying you're using our brand new photo editor. We can revert you back to the old one, but edits you've made will be lost. We're going to revert to the old one. And just like it said, the edit I made was lost. So I'm going to click edit image and look, here is the old editor. And if you type in shadow, here is the shadow effect. Huh? <laughs> Guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to remove the background. So I'm going to remove the background real quick and then we'll add the shadow. We're going to apply that. And now we are going to add our shadow effect. I'm going to click glow. I'm going to click it again. And then I can change the size of the, of the glow, the transparency of the glow and the blur of the glow down to zero. And I'm just going to, so you can see it, make it white. That's how you can do that and click apply. The biggest problem you're going to face with this is that if we go back to the photo editor, then it's going to revert. What I do is I will just use this one and I will copy it and put it into a different document. So like I've got this one, I wanted to use her there. So I just use control V on my keyboard and now she would be in the thumbnail with the, with the outline as I chose. It's not convenient, but according to what I've seen on replies on in Twitter and on Facebook and even an email I received, shadows will be back. They're just still working on it. You're going to click into this video if you're wondering how to blur a photo now with the new photo editor. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.